one thing that, that we have seen in, the, in this today's extremely interesting and, and packed with knowledge uh, presentations is that there is ex actually a lot of knowledge in this room and in Europe about bioplastics and, and, and bio, biodegradable plastics. Uh, so my question would be to the audience, who is this knowledge intended for? It was said many times, it is for the companies to use it and transfer it to the customer. And, and le let me ask you, how many in the audience are from research institutions, academia? Okay. Uh, policy makers? Excellent. Companies? Okay, we have to change this. <laughs> This is the goal for next time. And I'm going to talk about an idea. This is an idea pitch only. There is, I have no affiliation and my wife as well with, with anybody here. Uh, so uh, uh, I was part of, of, of uh, a Polymath Center of Excellence. We worked at also together with Andre, uh, helped a bit on the Plastice uh, project. And, and, but but this, is, this is not related. And, and I, I have just, I will reference it, of course. Uh, these two projects. Uh, one thing that, that I would like to also to stress is that the companies, why would they listen to us? What is the goal of a company? What should a company do? What should a company produce? Products. Yeah, it should be as a consequence. Uh, the of our yes, uh, uh, happy customers. If a company produces happy customers, then you know everybody is happy. And, and, and what we should do is to show the companies that with our knowledge, they will produce happy customers. So the take home message of my talk today will be the presentation of, of an idea how we could put the companies in focus from their point of view, how we should take all the knowledge that we have to show them that they will produce happy customers. Uh, you are quite familiar with this. This is the, 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 the circular bioeconomy of the, of the biological nutrients and technical nutrients flow and so on and so forth. Uh, what are the drivers of this circle? You have technologies and materials that, that we've heard a lot about. You have regulations and, and policy that we've also heard quite a bit. And then we have societal trends and ideas that we didn't hear that much today, but, but this is where, where happiness comes from and, and how it is checked with, with the customers. What do we have to do? Of course, we have to find the technical challenges and, and all the new materials and technologies. We, and, and already we stopped here. We have to think of, of the business models because a company produces happy customers with, with a business model. And, and then we have to de de develop all the conditions, the market conditions, the po technical policy, whatever else needed, in order to make this happen. And if we put in, in the center now a, co a company that has a technology and product and a business model that produces happy customers, this is a company, a business model. And a, a company perceives its business environment. And the business environment can be very easily described in a few in just a few key elements, like, like the trends, the key trends that are technology trends, the regulatory trends, the societal trends. Then you have the market forces, what is pulling, and it's the market segments, the market needs, the market issues, the switching costs to switch from conventional plastic to, to, to biodegradable plastics or bioplastics. Then you have revenue attractiveness, is it, is it worthwhile uh, doing this? And then you have, for example, industry forces from the, from the supply part. You, you have stakeholders, hmm, you know, should I really do it? Oh, you know, I don't have time, I would like to go to, to, to retirement and this. Then you have competitors, new entrants, the ones that are stirring the, the, the pot. And then you have suppliers and value chain actors and some other, of course, that I didn't put here. And then you have these big macroeconomic forces like, like market condition. Th then you have uh, accessibility of capital that we've talked today also. Then you have the infrastructure, the resources and some others, of course. And we, one company perceives all this as the business environment that is working it, 
in. And if we're trying to only push, you know, because we have a technology trend and then, you know, we have some, some market that we see and, and, and some stakeholder that would like to do it, it's not enough. One that has to decide here has to look at all business environment in order to, to, to produce value. And a company should produce value. And, and it can be described in, as happy customers. So this e-platform that we were thinking about uh, is about how to really put this information in context of a company. Everything that we've heard today, put it in context of a company as, as, as being the focus and then this business environment around. And I've, I've uh, selected just a, as an example <coughs> a, a, a company uh, that is from the automotive industry and uh, it produces car seats. In Slovenia it is quite important this. It has about 10% of Slovenian economy is automotive industry. So I, I think it could, be, uh, it could be interested for them. So, you know, when, when a company comes to, the, to, the, to the, this portal, I would say e-portal, uh, I, I must say that this is only an example here that I've put uh, some of the, of the logos of the uh, project or institution that I've worked with. Uh, it is because they will be the information suppliers here, could be. But these are the, the, different, the different industries that could be here. Uh, then you have uh, some information about biomaterials, some information about technologies, and some information about products. This is still very product oriented. And then if a company comes and says, okay, I come from automotive industry. What are you producing? So in order to, in this portal, to, to, to focus on, on, on the company itself, is okay, I produce car seats. And then behind, we would like to have a big database of this information that is already here in the room and some missing one from the business environment and very well categorized. So that somebody that is an, in automotive industry and producing car seats can have automatically a selected uh, uh, environment to present to, to it through the, through the next, uh, I would say, page. It's some fine print here, you don't need to, to read it because it's, it's from the internet copy-paste, but anyway. This is here is the center, this is the company, the green one, that is like, they would like to produce lighter bio-based car seats. And here is some, 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 some uh, examples like, like car seats from soy-based foam, for example, and, and, and there are some others could be. What do we have then? In the, in the left side of the, of the business environment. We have the suppliers, the bio suppliers, that, for example, the Woodbridge Group presented uh, a product of green polyurethane phones and so on and so on. You can have them here scrolling up. Then you have here the bio customers. Do, do we, will we be able to produce some happy customers? Yes, look, Toyota is already doing this, and Fiat, and Iveco, and, and some other probably also already would like to buy car seats from you if you would produce them. And then we have these trends, you know, the bubble up, and, and, and some support like macroeconomic and so on market forces. And in the trends, you have technology trends, you have regulatory trends, you know, new industrial trends in technology and so on. And then you have regulatory is also push. Then you have uh, societal trends like marketing trends, it's a pool, and ideas like research project and innovations that are still, you know, some time ago uh, in the front, but it's good to have to know about the environment. And then you have support. The support environment, it's about, it's about materials and technologies that, that, for example, already are offered to the companies, like this project and partnership that one speaker before me already introduced that it, it, it exists. Then you have, for example, the Lean Innovation Lab. That is something that would speed up the, the development and acquisition of new materials, because it's a long way from the idea to the market. And if, you, if you're using some sort of a better strategic segmentation in the beginning in a company, it, it can shorten this market, thumb to market, like, I know, half. But I would not st talk about this. And you have some market and strategy uh, support that is also available. So this is the business model of the company. And this is the business environment that the company sees. And it's selected directly from what they, they would expect to see. Uh, this is if, they, if they, they print of this read more, then you have you know, a, a bit more of the text. But what is important here is this database that is very well structured. So every entry into this database should be, should be uh, categorized, uh, tagged, 
So that if a company comes from automotive industry, not car seats, but I don't know, whatever, uh, 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 steering wheels, again, automatic from the database, the right information for them that would be most adequate for them to persuade them or, or get them the right information on how to make happy customers. And then, of course, for example, you have some editorial picks, and, but, but this is, this is some tweaks that, that are ideas that, that nobody really, I mean, it's important. In this bio support, for example, with the materials and technologies, I've, I found very important and interesting the, the joint R&D scheme of environmentally biodegradable polymers that were presented here. Already you have some, you know, ah, this, this, it can help me with here. I have here some soy-based phone I would like to put here, uh, and I, I can see here they can help me with that. And already I have some customers here that, that are needed, uh, that, that would need this. And then Lean Innovation Lab, I said about, about the strategic advantage in, in strategic segmentation. And then, for example, here is very good about poly for uh, that Matteo already described, is this open collaboration spaces. That this is, this, the, the Lean Innovation is for a single company. But the poly for emi open collaboration space is for uh, uh, an, an, an entire field of companies. It could be for a cluster, for example. And then you have for Martek a strategy, you have analysis. I know of a very good company that's doing this. And then you have the Horizon 2020 instrument, the SME and so on. That is already st starting to build uh, their, their re uh, regulatory framework on this base. OK, this is about companies. But then you have also policymakers and institutions and the clusters. And if, if you enter this, this, uh, this portal, I say this e-platform as a cluster from the automotive, for example, this uh, automotive cluster of Slovenia, for example, then another picture shows up. And this, this picture actually describes, you know, you, you see from the, from the, the top the, this circle about the circular bioeconomy. Uh, here it's linearized because it's quite difficult to do a round uh, uh, screen. Uh, but in the automotive cluster, you see all these companies, how they are spread around this value chain. You see what they do. And, but what is interesting is that you, you can see already the spillovers. And the spillovers from automotive industry are, for example, from the packaging industry. You see Fiat, uh, sorry, Ford is here, but they also, okay, I have bioplastic interiors that I, can, I, 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 I uh, produce from, from these suppliers, but I also produce bioplastic textiles, and textiles, you know, that you can go into packaging, and some others, like Coca-Cola, Heinz, and so other. You, you see the spillover effects already. And if you add another layer that I didn't do, but you can, you can do it in, in, in geographical terms, so you can see the flows of people, the flows of value, the flows of materials, and you can see what happens, that, that the, the, the Byron uh, uh, bioregion is, is sourcing their, their biomass from, from Bulgaria, that the, the bio-based delta in Norway is sourcing uh, the, the part of their, their biomass from, from the sugar beet, part from the port of, of uh, Rotterdam, and so on, and this you could see. So this is some, some important insights that you can see from the whole database that is still not uh, existing, but it's an idea. So these are possible some impacts that I see regarding to the uh, better, uh, I, I saw sort of, of expected there would be no much many companies here. So the impacts are more on the, I would say policy, and, and, but it's okay. But what, I, what the value is here that, that the e-platform will be architecture of this platform should be very value chain centric. So the value chain is the one that produces value and who's the end user is the happy customer. And this is uh, what I wanted to say. Thank you very much. Uh, for any questions, I'm available.